So in part one, we start touching on uh, some uh, theological type uh, shit about racism. Um, like I was saying, man, it's like if you if you arrest a bunch of white people for 45 years and then tell them they got to obey, you know, the police officers, it's bad. I just saw another video about the guy apparently bragged about he's going to kill these cops the night before. Some people give up. And I, shit you not, I seen it a long time ago in a movie. The guy says, as long as I'm famous before I die, I don't care how I, uh, you know. And I can't believe this shit. It's 30 something degrees outside. It's a fucking fly flying around. Bastards. I had to ruin my whole damn video. Fucking I don't fly. I ain't fly. So, um, I, it just pisses me off. It angers me to have to watch these videos over and over again. Mm -hmm. It comes back to race. A black guy shot some white cops. Who gives a fuck? I don't care anymore. I'm tired of seeing it. I'm tired of seeing cops shooting people on the ground. I'm tired of seeing cops taser people. People are looking for a way out and the pot is boiling and like I said I would not be surprised to see a lot of crime committed by white people in the upcoming months I mean I mean a lot of crime you have to look at the, the big picture I mean there's a lot of poor people there's a lot of poor white people there's a lot more poor white people than there are black people as a whole rich or poor and Mexicans, rich or poor. Eventually, these people are going to get to the point and they ain't going to take this shit no more and they're about to pop. I'm about to lock my dough. I'm about to load up like, you know, been caught right up in this motherfucker and shit because it's going to get bad. And it's not going to be just black people shooting police. It's going to be people roaming the streets, taking out people because of this bullshit propaganda shit that me, you, and everybody else on YouTube keep fucking pushing. If we stop fucking talking about race, but you can't stop talking about race. You have to ask the questions why. And why is there racism? Because a group of rich and powerful people want to control poor white people. That is the bottom line. That's why black people have suffered in America so poor white people can be controlled. That's why Mexicans, Chinese, Asian, they put us, they put some group of people in here so this other group of people will feel like, okay, I'm better than this group of people, and then everybody gets shit on. Instead of the people with the same means coming together to build a free society for everybody. You're just as poor as the next fucking black guy. Then what's the fucking difference between black and white? They don't show as much white crime because they want poor white America to feel safe. But the actuality is poor white America isn't safe because of poor black America, poor Mexican America, and poor white America. You see what I'm saying? It's an ever-festering movement of bullshit. And poor people are all in the same mix. And the rich people are sitting on here on their fake Mount Olympus looking at us. You earn enough money, you walk away from the poor blacks, the poor whites, and the poor Mexicans, and you look down on them. Until you can climb out of that ball where all of us is, trying to survive, to get up where you can look down on everybody and understand that you up there with those who can afford to have no worries, have no race. It's just old money and new money. You got to get in and respect yourself. But these people who control us want the poor white people to believe that they're not poor, one, two, that someone is taken from them, three, that society is better because of them, and four, the problems are placed upon them 
by those in which they try to better. Get it? Take the fucking hood off and look. And I'm not saying hood like clan hood. I'm saying the hood like veil covering your eyes. That's where the video is going to get cut. When I say, cut the hood. What? I bet you. I... What I'm trying to say, people, is this. We can look at a crime and say, those white guys went to the, to the black guy's house and started it. And we can look at, oh, that black guy must have said something at the BART station for the cop to shoot him. We can all, oh, that poor kid. We've seen people rioting, little kids getting busted in the head with sticks and shit dying on our fucking streets. Don't look at him. He's black. And when poor people see poor people suffer, there is no color. When ignorance and suffering, then there's a problem. Then there's these white people, these black people, those Mexicans, those Asians. Asians can't drive. Mexicans, all they do is take jobs. White people are lazy and want to boss people around. Black people do crime. We've become the fucking stereotypes that we sit back and complain about. We, you, me, and them. The situation won't get any better until we as a people stop bashing each other over color. When we're the same people, the only people that are different than us are those people who are making us see differences in us. I'm tired of trying to preach and teach the world and all these people to just look at those who control us. If you don't have no power, if you ain't got shit, you ain't got no control. If you're white, you ain't got no money and no power, you ain't got no fucking control. So climb the fuck down off of that fucking horse, level your fucking nose, and just come face reality, you are a regular human being, you go through the same bullshit the black people go through, and now you can see it. But instead of point blame, point blame at those who control industry, the media, and your mind. Not all white people are created equal, and that's why some white people see black people as a threat. Because they're a threat to who? They don't live like you, they're a problem. And the same thing flips, you can just take, take the word white out and put in black in certain situations, but not as in the power part. No, no, don't, don't, don't put black people, because we have a black president, don't say that all black people are now equal. They tried that shit in South Africa bringing Mandela in. It's not gonna happen. Some black people rise, some black people fall. There's more poor white people than black people all together. And Mexicans. So that's where we need to look at the beginning of the problem. We need to let those crimes be known. We need to let how many white people go to jail be known based on how many white people there is. We need to let the statistics be known. Because all of those poor people are not being seen in society. And those are the ones that will raise up, rise up, and have a fucking revolution in this country beyond any belief, beyond any hope. And who will get arrested? Who will get locked up? All those people who are just trying to protect themselves while the hooligans run the streets. Can't have guns in your homes no more, so when they kick in your door, you just got to give up your wife and your daughter and say, fuck it. Society is headed towards a meltdown. People aren't being recognized. They're going to ask to be seen, and they're not black. We've been on the front page ever since the newspaper has been written. Society's about to fall. It's not my fault that a group of people aren't ready aren't mad and aren't fighting those in which they placed in power above them. You've been too. It ain't my fault. It ain't my fault. It ain't my fault. Hey!